Leviathan here in an earlier episode, we did a reaction ride along where I took you guys along with me through the city to show you what the experience is like driving a supercar. And a lot of people commented that I'm too serious, too anxious, and too uptight, which is 100% correct. So today I'm gonna to share some of my experiences that turned me into who I am today. So let's go for a cruise. Okay, so let's begin. The first vehicle I ever owned was a Kawasaki 250 Ninja. For you non-bikers out there, it's essentially a Mazda Miata. It's a great sport bike, and it's also very popular for new riders as well as female riders. And I know it might not seem like a lot to you guys, but it was actually one year's worth of savings for me. And monetary value aside, it had a lot of sentimental value. It was the bike that rekindled my passion for cars and bikes. I put a lot of miles on that thing on a weekly basis. In fact, I rode it everywhere. Every little opportunity I had to ride, I'd take the bike. It got me through some pretty hard times and it also helped me re-spark my relationship with my sister who I hadn't seen in quite a few years. We'd always go for rides together. So it meant a lot to me. And given that I was using it on a daily basis, on five occasions I returned to see my pride and joy knocked over. And of those five instances, zero people had the audacity to even leave a note. So anyways, the next season, woo, <laughs> I ended up selling the Kawasaki Ninja and got a Yamaha R6, which is the equivalent of a Nissan GTR. I also had a lot of firsts with this bike. It was the first bike I ever modded. It was the first time I took the first girl I ever loved for a cruise. And then later that day was my very first speeding ticket. Really funny story, remind me to tell you guys about that later. I also took that bike on a four hour road trip across Ontario to Kingston where I did my master's program. Another hilarious story. Imagine everyone dressed in suit and tie and I emerged in jeans, a helmet and a leather jacket covered in bugs and sweat. And I daily rode that bike. I took it to the gym. I took it grocery shopping. I even rode it in winter. I wasn't very smart back then. So I went for one week on a kiteboarding holiday. When I returned, my bike was stolen from my condo garage and my insurance didn't even cover the full value. So after that, I decided to get a Ducati 848, which is the equivalent of a Ferrari 458. And I got it in red, believe it or not. But after the whole robbery scene, I was very paranoid about the bike. And after every single ride, I would actually squeeze it through my storage. And it's not easy squeezing a bike through a tiny door. And on top of that, for some reason, bicyclists just love rear-ending me. My entire back end was scratched up and my taillights were broken because I kept having cyclists just rear-end me. Anyways, after the bike, I got an Aston Martin V8 Vantage, a three-pedal manual Vantage. And it was through that car I realized that no matter how careful you are, other people won't have that same respect for your belongings. And in that car, I experienced the pain and suffering of a door ding. It happened a few times and I realized you just can't daily drive anything without getting battle wounds. And then once I traded that in for a Ferrari F430, that's when the negative experiences really took off. Look, when I got the car, it was 10 years old, it was silver. There's no way I could have anticipated the amount of negativity that would come with that experience. You guys know some of it and before I started making YouTube videos, the first negative experience I had was a guy was doing push-ups on my frunk and since I was holding up traffic, because I couldn't run him over, someone threw a bottle at me. And then the rest you've seen on video. I've had people call me horrible names. I've had ice cream smeared all over the car. I've been spat on. And negative reactions continued with the McLaren, where someone again threw a bottle at me and been called horrible names. So that's kind of how I ended up becoming who I am today. And you may think that I have some serious bad luck, but I honestly don't see it that way. I feel a lot of these experiences really helped me develop and grow into the person I am today. I've had some bad experiences, but I have also had some fantastic ones as a result. 
And I think the best way to really end this video is a quote from Helen Keller. Character cannot be developed in ease and quiet, and only through the experience of trial and suffering can the soul be strengthened, ambition inspired, and success achieved. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.